actually the same as Morningstar, but a little bit simplified. So you come to the website, you scroll, checking on your right. So this company snapshot. So when you go there, you have to type the company's name. I'll continue using ShopRite. So if you type ShopRite, you'll see the ShopRite holdings. SHP is the ticker symbol. Uh, you click on go. Then um, it's going to give you... Um, Oh, it's gonna give you still loading. It's called still loading. So this gives you a summary of what's been happening. So if you click on the full chart of the graph, then you can be able to see the performance of the share on a graphical form over a long period of time. I think they also have a maximum, meaning you can see the share ever since it's listed or for a history of about 20 years. Here you've got under code, you've got bid, ask, um, day, range, average, volume. So these are like trading statistics on the current bidding price, current asking price. Um, dividend yield, the current one is 2.5 years range. So you can see that the shares of ShopRite were as low as 95 rand and as high as 184 in the previous 12 months so that's a year uh, market cap from uh, money web you need to adjust it but this is 67 billion which is incorrect but they are using an updated numbers remember uh, this is like a money web uh, a morning star kind of um, uh, results um, then what kind of a company is it they say it's a multi blend price to book ratio consensus uh, forward PE they didn't give it P current price to earning 16 times price to source 0 0.4 times so you, if you come and click on key ratios you kind of get the three-year average revenue growth which is slightly below five four point nine you get your average net income minus four and three-year average for five years so obviously you can start with your analysis seeing that the business has been growing revenue but declining profits operating margin of, of 3.5 free cash flow of here they wrote 580 million um obviously that might be true debt to equity but obviously you have to verify with the company's results i actually prefer using i use these websites for screening but um and the job comes back to me um going and looking at the company's results and scrutinizing them anyway net margins at 2.7 percent return in equity at um 17.8 percent so if you can already see return on equity differs from the one that's given on money web which is 19.2 percent so the question is why so money web has a tendency of using the latest results so the ones reflected on money web this is, um, I think, return on equity from the quarterly results. So if you check their latest results, this is a quarterly result. So they show you return on equity, which improved from the 15%, which was a last year's result, an annual one, to the quarterly one. Uh, yeah, that's what happens. Um, we done return on asset of 5%. So here, this is just a summary of key matrices in a business, right? So they give you a history of 10 years. So I'm not going to go back there. You've got your revenue on top, operating income, operating margin, net marg uh, net profit, um, diluted earnings per share. Extremely important to see how uh, shares are diluting. Obviously, you can see on, see on the um, average shares outstanding. So if number of shares are increasing, that means the company is issuing more shares and more shares. The question is why? But obviously you have to assess that you've got your cash flow statement so this is your income statement this is your cash flow statement this is just like a brief summary so your cash flow statement you'll be seeing cash flows generated by the business usually you have to go and do your own homework check if these cash flows are real because these websites have a tendency of just copying everything from financials the way they are that's a, a, a topic for another day. Then you'll get your capital expenditure. So you can see that retailing as a business is a heavy capex business. Very few free cash flow uh, along the road. Uh, then you'll get TTM, which, in, which means trailing 12 months. So this is like your revenue in the trailing 12 months. So they add the previous four quarters regardless of where we are. So the, these ones are like the annual sales, sales of a business without caring about when is the year end so that's what uh, ttm stands for trailing 12 months so your five 
five year average so here they just add the five years and they divide by five right so um what's more important is the five year uh growth rate so you saw i showed you how you can get the three year growth rate um at the top over there on key under key ratios but if you want a more detailed um a more detailed uh, rip, um oh i mean a wider period you can see that over five years it's been growing sales by eight percent and you can see as well with it's been increasing shares by 0.74 uh you come to valuation so they just do a brief of um price to sales um price to cash flow price to book so that you can kind of reference in the previous years is this company selling chips cheap relative to its source which obviously with ShopRite you can see that this is the cheapest on the price to source ratio that is being it's actually trading at 0 0.5 times source and in 2014 it was 0 0.8 source uh, 0 0.88 so it's actually trading very cheap relative to its price to source relative to its price to earnings in the pre previous five years it's also selling cheap 16.75 slightly higher than in 2019 which was at 16.4 then price to book uh, 3.3 it's not the lowest but it's the second lowest from last year meaning shop right was maybe oh, extremely cheap last year uh, then you can check as well comparison with the index uh the index and they give you a five-year average which was 0 0.74 so you can actually compare with the five-year averages and see whether the business is selling cheap according to the five-year averages obviously the business is selling cheap currently then you'll go to performance uh operating performance return on asset return on invested capital and return on equity so basically here you just want to see if the company is improving or um or losing its competitive edge as for shop right you can see that it's probably losing its competitive edge in 2012 it was able to achieve a return on asset of about 11 percent last year it was almost half that six percent return on equity of 30 percent last year it was only 16 percent return on invested capital of 22 percent in 2012 and last year it was only 10 percent so the business appears to have been losing some momentum maybe that is the reason why it's cheap uh then dividends that have been paid out so they add buying back of shares and dividends to give you your total yield so buyback yield so as you can see shoprite currently is giving you your 2.8 percent yield um which of that they had you had a dividend uh, yield uh, of 2.5 plus a buyback yield of 0 0.37 in total it goes to 2.87 uh, that's your buyback uh, yield uh, as well uh, and the payout ratio at the bottom here um, payout ratio is just essentially how much is the company paying from their profits so as you see 41.8 percent let's just assume that's 42 to make it run number that means your pride paid out 42 percent of their earnings as dividends great so you get the dividends amounts and when they were paid dates for when they were paid as you can see you've had a dividend on the 11th of march um which was paid when on the 16th of march um then you see other days going back to other years then lastly you find ownership um asset managers who are buying into shoprite and who are selling from shoprite so you can see that coronation balance fund has been buying they've bought it's a new position uh, as you can see it's a new position and they've bought about 8.4 million shares of shoprite <coughs> that's latest 31st of march so that's about seven days ago it gets up gets updated every um i think every month every month end. and you can see that invesco oppenheimer developing market a has sold about 52 percent of their stake which was about 13 million shares and these are emerging markets has also sold off about 13 percent of their um of their um shares so if you click on institutions you actually see which institutions are the biggest so as you saw on the other side coronation has actually increased net as coronation asset managers remember they've got different portfolios under the balance funds opportunity funds and those other like uh, the likes it's actually net bought about 16 million 
16 million shares of ShopHeart in the last month. So that's the change with Lizard having sold off about 1.1 million. Net, all the top top five asset managers, they've actually bought 14.8 uh, million shares. And company profile. So this is just the basic summary of what the company does, the industry that's in, the business segments that it has, the sector, consumer cyclical. So obviously, consumer cyclical. Um, uh, department stores, meaning it's not like an online kind of retailing. It's not like a one store kind of a retailing, but it's department stores. So meaning decentralized, you get stores almost everywhere contact you get the website for the company so that's how i use uh, um, um, finance 24 which is almost the same as how you use morningstar 